Now in this next uh, group of graphics from uh, Arki, we're going to look at the modified ribonucleic acid and how it's been changed and the harmful effects that this can potentially have. So here we see a strand of RNA, the ribonucleic acid. But the problem is it's not ribonucleic acid, it's modified ribonucleic acid. It's been modified to avoid the immune system and to last much longer. Ribonucleic acid has been around as long as humans have ever since, well, <laughs> longer than humans have, as long as life has on the planet. You know, the simplest bacterial cells contain this wonderful God-made natural RNA, but this is a synthetic form. This is completely different. We're dealing with a different phenomena here, human engineered. It's been changed in various ways that concern us. And in particular, what we have in RNA is we have bases. So in RNA, it's normal to have these bases. There's adenine, uracil, cytos cytosine, and uh, guanine, A, U, C, and G. But the uracil has been switched out for pseudouridine so pseudouridine has replaced the normal uracil and we can see these as these three spiked prongs in this rather excellent uh, graphic that've been replaced by pseudouridine so this pseudouridine this false synthesized uridine engineered to last longer it's actually based on genetic sequences only. It's basically generated by a computer and the bases are strung together. And it's read by our ribosomes over and over again. So natural, brilliant messenger RNA that's been designed to transfer the genetic code as long as there's been life on, planet, on the planet Earth has been made into this synthetic modified form of RNA. David Speaker actually described it as being like a plasticky thing that just persists in the cell. And in fact, we know from some studies that it's been detected uh, 700 days after injection in post-vaccine syndrome. We see all that the natural uracil has been taken out and it's been replaced with the pseudouridine. And this can cause quite a few problems. It can cause misreading of the natural sequence because of the abnormal pseudouridine. The function of the RNA can be changed. This rather brilliant graphic here is showing the way that the RNA goes through the ribosome. The ribosomes being the cells protein producing mini factories that uh, translate the genetic information in the RNA via the ribosome into, should be the body's own protein. But of course, in this case, we see that it's making a, a spike protein instead. And as we've said, because there's a pseudouridine in there, the RNA can be misread can be frame shifted to produce abnormal proteins in addition to what you might call the abnormal spike protein. Yeah, one study has shown there's about a 10% error rate. So maybe 90% of the time this modified unnatural RNA is producing spike protein. The other 10% of the time it's producing proteins that are not spike protein, but not natural human proteins either. Inside the lipid nanoparticle, the spike is protected from the body's immune system. The mRNA strand is inside the lipid nanoparticle.
injected directly into the systemic spaces of the body. <laughs> 